Back home, the big story. The CBI told the Supreme Court today that a financially and politically powerful person was hampering its probe into the ASL Maxis deal involving former telecom minister Dhanidhi Maran. The Supreme Court examined the CBI status report and said, Prima facie, there seems to be a nexus. Joining us for more on that story is NDTV's Vedinathan and uh, Sunetra. Sunetra, to you first, uh, um, what more details do we have at this point? Uh, um, pointing to Malaysia in this specific case, what is the significance of that? Well, it's interesting. While on record and in these uh, status reports, CBI hasn't really named anyone, but the CBI is under pressure. The Supreme Court is the one which has really called the shots in this entire 2 d case. They have pulled up CBI time to time saying that, why aren't you doing this cook enough? And in the petition is in this case that Subramaniam Swami and Prashant Bhushan have alleged that the CBI is trying to scuttle up the case, that they are not uh, acting quickly enough against everyone. So in this case, the CBI is under pressure to get results quickly. And while they had registered the FIR last year, they failed to actually uh, register and file the charge sheets. So that's actually the background of it. So the court had asked CBI to give a full explanation of why they are lagging behind, why the delay, where is this kind of charge sheet into the ASL Max's deal. And let me just kind of back it up for all our viewers, basically what the case is. The case is that when Dhanidhi Maran was the telecom minister at that time, there is an allegation that the CBI has filed an FIR that there was pressure on the founding owner of ASL to sell the stake to Malaysian businessman Max's, Malaysian company Max's, which is owned by T. Anand Krishnan. So the FIR is not just against Dhanidhi Maran as the telecom minister and his brother Kalanidhi Maran, and the CBI alleged that in return they got kickbacks, crores worth of money being invested into the Maran family Sun Direct company. So that's actually what the case is. So the FIR is there, criminal conspiracy charges are there, but the charge sheet is missing. So they had to explain to the court why they haven't filed the charge sheet. And an explanation of that, what they've told the court is, look, we are trying our best. Our people have gone abroad from time to time. They've gone to Mauritius and to Malaysia. And while Mauritian authorities have complied, they've given us all the investigation and the details that we need. And what is the kind of thing that we need from abroad? We need all the financial details of all these people concerned. And they say that they're not getting that from Malaysia. And CBI kind of hinted, so the allegation is directed towards the Malaysian parties in this case, which could be T. Anandakrishnan. In fact, it's also indicated that that's who they meant, that even though they were in touch with the Attorney General over there, but because of his influence there, he is a major businessman there, that is why they weren't giving them right. the details. All right, uh, Vedya, we believe the Supreme Court also issued notices to the Uttar Pradesh government and to Sahara. Can you tell us more about that? Hi, in fact, uh, the Supreme Court is examining a contempt case against Sahara, filed with one of the ED top officials who is probing the 2G scam, Rajeshwar Singh. Today, he filed another petition alleging that he has been issued notice by the UP government probing into the alleged illegal amassment of wealth by him and his family. So, ED uh, lawyer today informed the court these allegations were examined by the CBI, ED, as well as CBC independently. So, nothing came out of it but... The UP government is harassing him because he, that uh, official is probing the Sahara money laundering case. So Supreme Court was quite upset with it. Supreme Court even commented saying that it seems prima facie it indicates that the uh, state apparatus harassing that ED official and completely stayed any probe against the UP government against this ED official and also proceedings against him in a pending PIL in the Allahabad High Court. And interestingly, just taking a cue from where Sunetra has left, in fact, Supreme Court wanted from the CBA more than a year has passed what happened in the Yersel Maxis deal. CBA has told the court saying that it has got information from Malaysia, but unless it gets information from Malaysia linking the deal between Malaysia and Mauritius-based company, it can't go ahead. It seems CBA is at the mercy of the Malaysian government to get the information to go ahead in this probe. All right, Vedya and Sunitra, thanks uh, so much for joining us with that. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.